Greetings everyone and welcome back to Home of the Brave Mod. I'm your host, American Mocha Lover, and right now we're looking at the beautiful Tsar. The second American Republic, but right now we must do another focus. Another great focus for the greatness of America. How great a country. I love America and its greatness, and it's totally normal, normal route that we're going down. How about an old victory? An old K victory. It is finished the old KLAN, consisting of D.C. Stevenson's Indiana Clan, the Black Legion and hardline elements from the National Democratic White League, such as the <clears throat> W Front, have emerged victorious. Stevenson now expects for all relevant members of the government to vote him in the American Emperor of the Triple K and the Democratic White League at large. Totally will happen. No problems miss with Mr. Chubby Face Stevenson. We get local manpower plus 5%. Well, you gotta love being chair of the Midwest. After that, oh, the WCC partition. Talks and Dever have concluded and ceasefire is going ahead. The two sides are already pulling back with the troops to their respective borders. How long this will last remains to be seen. Um, I don't remember that, but okay. Legacy of no-nothings, huh? Why not? We could use actually 1% more population because we have no more manpower, which sucks. The no-nothings were cruelly repressed by the northern political bosses despite the merely desire to defend native Hawaiians from immigrant hordes, but they bravely resisted, resisted repression, responding to attempts to give up intel with I know nothing. We will honor the legacy and end non-white Protestant immigration to the U.S. at once with the American blood bill. Cool. Can't say too much within the first two minutes or Mr. or Miss, no, Mr. YouTube's not going to like that. Susan Wojcicki does not like that if you say too many naughty things in the beginning, or too many spicy things, we should say. But oh well, banner of the Republic. Now that we are independent, we must choose a banner that we fly against traitors. Many of our members who don't identify with the old clan and the Black Legion have suggested. We keep the current design. However, the Black Legion wishes to see their own flag on the national stage. As they are a powerful faction within a government, it would be wise to appease or appeal to them. But we could also push for a more traditional flag, which would look like. Keep the current banner. Adopt the Black Legion's design. You know what? You know what? Why not? We're going, we're going crazy with our leadership, so... I like this American Empire. Sounds like a lot of fun. It, you know what? I like the. Oh my gosh! What is that flag? Are we pirates now? We're pirates. This, uh, the skull and bones. And you know what? I like the American Empire over the Second American Republic just because there's less words you have to say. There we go. Make it simple. And of course, we have a little Cold War going on between a very thick Ukraine. That is thickness. And that's a huge Yugoslavia, as I said. But apparently people have seen it bigger Yugoslavia's before. And Portugal is doing something I don't know. Portuguese Anarchist Union? What is going on, Portugal? Very nice. A couple comments. Uh, someone did say that someone thought that that's the Simmons guy who we got rid of last time. Or who no longer leads the party now. <clears throat> someone said he looks like Beria. El Beria. Like the communist Beria. So. Well, should we raise conscription level? Actually, let's see if it's in our focus view if we can change it. Con script. I guess not. Alright, so that's good to know. So we can spend our political power all that we like. We must well go to extensive conscription for even more manpower now. Very, very nice. And actually, we're still helping out the Indians. The princes. Defending against the menace that is the red Indians. And we're doing okay. Helping them out. We're definitely doing okay. Help them out. Help, help the fan. That'd be great. Oh, what are we doing? Dreadnoughts. And we do actually... I have an extra sub. Look at that. Oh, no, that's not a sub. This is a sub. And actually, we probably start training then. For now, train only if you need to. And we have another ship. Great. Field Hospital Uno. Great, great, great. Let's grab Field Hospital Doso. And maybe it is 43, so we're done. We're good on planes. We're really good on planes, actually. Well, we have enough naval XP. We want to do some naval direction. We're doing. I really love battleships a lot, and we're carriers, I love carriers and all, but, uh, let's take a look at our land action real quick before I make a choice. Well, we've gone down the carrier fleet project, we get, we did get a bonus for base strike, so, alright, we'll go base strike, to appease the carrier gods, we shall do so. Bob Smith, unnamed, now that's the type of lady I like, unnamed ladies? Oh, someone got captured, whoopsie. <clears throat> My bad! We'll get some more intelligence if we need it. Uh, hopefully we'll be mobilizing some more soon. Now I can see the know nothings, and I did say we would do this other one after old clan victory. Erase the young clan. While Evans lost some, such as James Cole's, 
Colescott and Theodore Bill, both still have questionable allegiances and who look like or look weak to allow his former opponents to weak, simply walk away. They cannot be allowed to do so, or due to the new order what was done to their late leader. <clears throat> it is time to wipe the so called young clan from history itself. Lose some manpower, lose some political power, whatever, that's fine with me. Give me that PP. So y'all's over there. And the unnamed recruit is over there. And you'll be doing some resistance or no, spy stuff. Cool. Give it up, guys. Give it up. Pur oh, purging. Nice. So we lost some monthly population. We got more population. We got stability. Stability modifier. <clears throat> we lost some production efficiency, growth, and research speed. But we got more encryption. Not bad. Oh, yeah. The Know Nothing Party. Okay. Very cool. Any other ships? Yes, we do. Well, we have this ship, which is okay. It's not great. Well, okay. Any more research? We'll have some more tanks soon enough. <clears throat> I'm really hoping we can make more divisions, though. That'd be kind of nice, actually. And make some actual good tanks here. And we did get the field hospitals, so... Thank you. And thank you. That's going to cost us a bunch of support equipment. There goes those Chinese guys. But we do have enough support equipment, which is nice. Which is very, very good for us. Train if you need to. Nope. All right, then. You guys looking not too bad yourselves. And hopefully we will go to war in this episode, which I'm pretty sure we will. So <clears throat> We will have to fight the dudes called the Third International. Which is going to suck. But oh well. It is our fate. Oh, we're actually losing here? That's not good. And we're guys? No. We're almost done with the clan. The young clan. But we'll get the tanks done first. Oh, uh, we're missing something here? We're we doing something? Oh, yeah. Carrier bombers. Good, good, good. What do we got here? Not too much. Cannot deploy because of the lack of manpower. Hopefully that manpower we just got can go there and help deploy. Yeah, it looks like it might be just... Be hey, yeah, we did. Nice. We actually got another ship. It's only destroyer, but whatever. Oh, wow. They're really trying to kill us off here, aren't they? Wow, he's learning a lot. He's a trickster already. That's nice. Oh, he actually was defeated. Wow. Not so hard these red Indians are attacking. Oh my goodness. Ooh, another hundred political power. What do we do with this stuff? Not too much. Ooh, tank stuff? Hoods? Light tanks? Nah. I mean, technically we are using recon light tanks, but that's okay. Medium tanks? Well, that's not going to work for us when we get to 1945, though. Light tanks? Light tanks. So, if we have to choose anything... Now, does this help? Recon light tanks. I don't mind making more medium tanks, but you know what? This is going to help everyone when they have light tanks on them anyway, so let's get them more breakthrough, because why not? Chrysler, just don't go to business. Chrysler, please don't. Grab some of this. It can help our ships, maybe. Construction 5. Let's grab some more resources for now, because we are lacking some rubber, which we are trying to address. And I'm building more roads, because if you know me, I love roads. I love building roads. I should really play a city skyline sometime. Purging the youngling, younglings. Cool. We're going to race them. Period. Ooh, more stability. The Black Legion. More daily political power. We get some more recruitable population factor. Um, that looks pretty good, actually. The Wickedness of Eve. Oh, my goodness. Christian identity. Knights of the White Camellia. Huh. Chance of sabotage. This seems all like a lot of fun. But let's take an oath. How about we all take an oath here? It is high time for the clan to get respected to deserves despite some resistance remaining even in the car. Written by a clan activist, all politicians must place their hand on the Holy Bible and recognize the importance of God, the Huat, <clears throat> Rassi, and America if they desire to take power and can be removed from office if found to take counter-clan actions. Man, I wonder how many times you can say clan in a single video and if it would ever get monetized. Hmm. Klansman Samuel Green has been arrested for collaborating with syndicalist powers alongside other members of the Young Clan. However, the Georgia Clan remains as an issue, an issue as arguably the stronghold of the Young Clan. Green is offered to flip on her behalf if he's politically rehabilitated, but most old Clan members would rather forcibly convert the remaining members to the Red Shirt, White League, or Black Legion militias, although resistance is likely if we do such a thing. Finish the job. Let's manpower, more command power, political power, loose stability. Oh. Use Green? Finish the job. You know what? Just finish the job. I don't care what happens. We also let manpower, whatever. Who cares? We're still mobilizing even more, more, more. Wow, effective manpower due to 68%. So, <clears throat> I'm not saying I advocate for it. I'm not saying I'm not advocating for it, but just... Can we get... When do we get rid of Jim Crow? Like, are we, like, depopulating, let's just say, sectors of America? Like, people were leaving, like, on their own accord, right? So... 
what, what would happen? Like, do we eventually get rid of it? Like, and political aftermath out of the Civil War, we gotta get rid of as well, so. Have we do this oath, we'll probably go ahead and do the Legion, so. Undoubtedly, our most valuable and powerful allies, the Black Legion, has a will to do what even other de old Democrats won't. It is time to roll back a larger chunk of the KLAN into the organization and promote them as a new class to be envied. Furthermore, they will be an agent of skill. Oh, God, no. Empowered with intelligence powers. It's unfortunate when agents are killed, but we get more national populism support. At this point, I mean, only Mura still has some influence there, so. Not bad. Base strike. Let's go ahead and grab some more carrier primacy. Even though we don't have. I think we only have one carrier, don't we? Oh, two more ships. Look at that. Ah, so we got one carrier right there. We have total two carriers. Nice. Our fleet is coming online, which is very nice. Could you guys actually help and win here? Mohan Singh versus Kodandera Marapa Kariapa. Cool. War propaganda? Might as well. We don't have a ton of political power. Go ahead and hold. Oh, uh, you want to help out? Yeah, we don't want to lose the city, so. We got an oath and the Black Legion. Wow, 49 days is quite a while, don't you think? Nice. Oh, they're still attacking us. Hold on, boys. Ecuador joined the Andean Pact. Gotta keep an eye, an eye on what the Russians are up to. No, they're only doing air production. I would like to see them take out, or fight, the Reds. But what are the Reds up to, actually? Air, they're both doing air production. Maybe they'll eventually do it. Or maybe I'll just force them to fight each other. That seems kind of like fun. Send them to go kill... Wow, Iran is looking kind of weird. Turkish state is so sad. Um, Greece does no no longer exists. It's now British? Or Union of Britain. Uh, Syria is looking pretty thick. Arabia is looking a little split. The Russian state... I don't know why this is... Uh, even Ethiopia is over there. What the heck? I mean, even though Common France did pretty darn well, but they should have taken this territory too. But, you know, whatever. Alright, Bob Waka. I like my women unnamed. Is that... Hmm. It's kind of questionable, I guess I'd say that. Alright, anti-air upgrades. Very nice. Then no, nothing out. Come on, guys, keep attacking me here. Uh, don't we have planes here, too? We do. California dispute. Since the carving up the nation into the old clan sects, we've run into some questions regarding Southern California caused by a dispute between the Order of the Great White Empire and the Black Legion. The Order is a small old clan aligned grouping within California that successfully evaded being incorporated into the Legion and spread propaganda during the war. They know, they know claim that they should be allowed to control Southern California due to being less infamous than the Legion more accepted. The Black Legion calls this nonsense claim they have more members in L.A. and that the territory rightfully belongs to one of their commanders. While it's true they have larger numbers granting granting the order more control of the territory would help keep the Legion from becoming too strong. Whether they will both occupy parts of their territory, it's up to us who has more control of Southern California. The Legion or the Order? Well, I don't want to get more command power. The Legion's okay with me. Hmm. I wish they had another... Uh, well, I mean, technically this should be a little closer. But that's too many people, or too many planes in one area, so... Even then, that's too much. Too many air people... No, no. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Nice. We can actually do something here now. Legion infighting the Black Legion seeking yet another in territorial dispute. While usually B Legion commanders and their old clan chiefs are allowed to settle disputes amongst each other, this one is quite a bit larger. With a fight between William Shepard and Virgil Effinger, with Effinger controlling Michigan, Wisconsin, parts of Illinois, while Shepard is based out of Iowa and its tributaries farther than Midwest. And he has strongholds throughout Illinois as well. Shepard claims that he is the original founder of the Black Legion. He deserves the whole of Illinois, whereas Effinger violently disagrees with him, claiming he's popularized the Black Legion. Who should we favor? Jackson? Cole Bleesman, uh, Reynolds, none, Stevenson will lead it. We'll lead it as it is. Yeah, let's go, Stevenson. Murrah, Patton. Seems like there's so much infighting going on. So much, so much, so much. We can't agree on anything, can we? Oh, yeah, we got more. Oh, we got the hood, huh? Nice. Nah, very nice. Anti air. I mean, if we have any spare things, we could make that. That's fine with me. Good, good, good. Oh, we were actually pushed out. Wow. That is big sadness. Sediment of the old KLAN. Well, the most recent territory disputes haven't been settled. The NW NDWL charter signed by the Chief of the White Race. DC Stevenson has at last been signed. Has at last been signed, settling the remaining territories. 
The old clan shall have ultimate domain over the whole U.S. and reign directly over the territory of New England and the state of Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Virginia, West Virginia, Tennessee, and Maryland, as well as ports of the U.S. of A. Meanwhile, for the loyalty and recognition of the supremacy of the chief, the Black Legion shall reign over the Midwest territories, east of the states of Illinois and Michigan, and the former territories of the so-called Western Command Center. Florida shall be granted to the White Front, the Carolinas shall be granted to the respective White Leagues, and the reigning Southern states shall be under the Southern Wing of the NDWL, including their clan and ODP. Switching in particular from Georgia to Texas, Oregon and Washington shall be gifted to the respective White Leagues, and California is under the shared control of the Order and the great, of the Great White Empire and the Black Legion. Signed. This is getting weird, man. <laughs> this is so weird. But I guess this is what I signed up for. Because all I was doing was clicking buttons and having a good time. Come on, shell the living crud out of them, boys. Oh, man, can we not win here? Oh, boy, that's not good. Um, well, if that's the case, keep holding on for now. Don't don't worry about attacking. Just defend. We're supposed to be, like, super racist and promote only one race, but we're helping out Indians. Technically, these guys are Asian. So, we got some real racial chess we can... We have here? Hmm. Hmm. How many tanks do we have? How many light tanks, actually? Well, we do have 1,400 because we did put a lot of these guys on, and they're still attacking. Wow, you guys are not looking good, are you? No, you're not. How many minutes we lost on this front? Only 15,000? Holy crap, that's a lot. Alright. All right, the reason I'm going down this path is because we want to do Cult of the Chief and Terror in the Night. Which one was it? Uh, Riches of Africa. Oh, huh. Congo. Uh, let's see. Country will continue to cover from the Civil War, which I want to get done as fast as possible. So, Knights of the White Chameleon. George E. Dirtherage and his White Knights of the White Chameleon were and are undoubtedly useful in our quest to monitor for dangerous elements. Empowering them to be a state sect will not only make it more difficult for our internal opponents, but ensure the Black Legion doesn't gain enough power to get unfortunate ideas. So be it. We currently get 1.55 political power every day. Not bad. Uh, manufacturers cheaper. Oh, wow. Why would we choose this one? South Florida, North Carolina. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Five. Oh, so we get less research speed, but better production costs. That's fine. I don't care. Research speed isn't super important to me right now. We've got some of these. Even better anti-air. Oh, the Japanese are helping out, too. Good luck, Japan. We're going to need it. Simmons is going to need it. 92% of the way towards becoming a trickster. Bera, Bera, Nas. 300, huh? Actually, can we send another? We can technically send another 100 planes or so. Where are we at 201 out of 300, huh? You got some more destroyers? Escort cruisers? Not bad, not bad. You have a lot of screens for that group. Share the wealth a little, maybe a little bit better than that. And we have no industrial. Oh, that's not good. I'm much more concerned about this area here. Carrier Primacy? Not bad, not bad. We're going to need as much of a naval doctrine done before we have to go to war across the, the Atlantic. Or even... Probably, we'll probably won't go to war with the Pacific. Anyone there. But the Atlantic most definitely against probably the coming to France, so... Um, I was not expecting that. Japan? Fighting the Entente now? Well, I guess, technically, the Entente isn't that powerful, so... Good luck! Oh, they're just raining hell on us soldiers. They're not looking too good, though. They're really killing off their own military division, which is fine with me, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. Next up, the Cold of the Chief. Our Chief of the White <coughs> Rass, Emperor of the Triple K, and the DLW, and President of the U.S. D.C. Stevenson has maximized his political power. He expects pledges of loyalty from the lone holdouts, monuments to his bravery in the war to be built by old Democrats and an suspicion towards any whom do not have his likelihood in their home. We got more political power, which we don't know what to do with. Stability, command power for some unknown reason, and get 20% more war support. Wow, that's a lot of war support. That is quite a bit more. So we'll do that one next, which will be fun. We got nine days, eight days left for that. Yes, keep scrubbing. Okay, are we, how much, are we lacking too much here? No? We're making a good amount of planes. I don't. I want to make sure we don't produce any garbage, so just get rid of a lot of this stuff. Yeah, just even get rid of this. I don't even care. I don't want to deal with this when I to, I'm sorting through planes, so. Good, good, good. Anti-tank? I don't even believe in anti-tank in single player, so. Gotta clean this up, you know. Better anti-air. Happened 1944. Grab some more radar. We're doing some nuclear tech as well, which is good. Yeah, we got a little bit more manpower now. Finally, 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 finally. 
Call it to the chief. Oh, wait, so wait, we get to choose this? Clan capitalism? That looks like so much fun. Civilian factories and a lot of building slots? Expand... Oh, <laughs> labor camps, huh? Ooh. Not riders in the black belt. Stomp out Rome. Oh, we go to war with Rome? Huh. Riches of Africa. Well, Liberia might be the good one to attack. Terror in the night. Oh, good lord. Military First Nation. Intercept refugees. Aztec cold. That'd be good. But that means we go to war with the Third International. War go against Cuba. A golden circle. Against the Dominican Republic, of all places. And then we still gotta do, like, back on the world stage. Like, okay, so at this point, we better do that and take out Canada. We gotta dismantle the Entente. Take out these guys. Because the Japanese will be invading Australasia eventually, so. And New Zealand. Well, the islands of New Zealand. Maybe even Madagascar. And South American Socialist wait, States. Wait, why are you independent? Why did you make your own thing? You didn't go to war. You didn't join those guys? That's disgusting. Why did you balkanize Brazil? Or Brazilianize? Disgusting. Why is Sean Xi still there? Why are you so sneaky? Old Democrat leadership. The NDWL and ODP has been effectively gutted of opponents of the old clan, but we still must ensure that they have the loyalty of the party, which will require a leadership change for the political party that serves simply as a front group for the NDWL. While Stevenson will remain the symbolic head of the ODP, it's obvious someone else will need to be its main administrator, thus being essentially in charge of it on behalf of Stevenson and a top cabinet member. Edward Jackson, Coleman Blees, and Robert Ross Reynolds are the main three candidates, all of them being old clan members who are nonetheless more mainstream politicians. Jackson is the closest to Stevenson, is based out of Indiana, but his loyalty is questionable, whereas Reynolds and Blees are more ideologically reliable, with Blees being less likely to stray from Stevenson's orders, but Reynolds more likely being confident. Which one shall it be? This is so weird. That, that's got to be a real picture. Jackson? Reynolds? None. Um, I don't want to get that extra man, that extra command part because I don't really care about it. Let's see, what else is more competent? Hmm. Jackson is closest. Is I don't like limited loyalty. Well, go with Belize. Why not? So after this one, what are we going to do? Defending the the, the RAS? Clan capitalism. Hmm. Military police? Well, let's grab some better guns. How about that? Maybe we can get some mechanized, too. I kind of like mechanized. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, oh, God. We're already starting to run out of things to build. Are you kidding me? Now we got to build on this part of, was that, Missouri or something? Northern Missouri? Yeah. Rubber stations everywhere. Make a lot of rubber. This is America, you never gonna run out of rubber. Never, ever, ever. Well, let's go and do this one. Yeah, why not? While capitalism can be useful for the advancement of the, <clears throat> the W race, the proper donations must be made. Let no man become wealthy unless he joins their ancient order, gives the best jobs to his fellow whites, and uh, donates the appropriate amount to his chapter, and let the knights take direct control of any industry that fails the race of a certain color if you catch my drift. This is so weird, man. Oh, we get a bonus for industry. Uh, do we need to train anyone else here? We don't go to war with those guys down south of us. We're just going to go ahead and... I guess all of... Ca what happened to Canada's divisions? I got one right there, too. Um, Canada, you feeling alright? A lot of manpower. Oh, well, they got a lot of divisions. I guess they're just... Maybe not home. Okay, so agents are just killed. They just keep dying and dying. Oh. Look at that. Would you look at that? There you go. Venezuela elects a syndicalist government. A socialist Venezuela? Really? They'd never elect or do such a thing. Actually, you guys should honestly be able to take these guys out pretty. Yeah, there they go. They go die. They go die now. 40 combat with not big enough. Not enough logistic companies. Only 27,000 manpower per division. Is that all? There you go. Agra. Very nice. Nice. Floating airfields. Don't mind if we do. Love it, love it, love it. So that will get done then. And then we'll get some more... Maybe get some more radar. It is 44. Extraction's okay. Actually, we could probably use some rubber... Pro well, actually, we already have enough anyways. 
Hmm, what do we want? We're done with our land auction, of course. We could do better some some better stuff for this stuff. It is 44, by the way, so... Better subs. They're cheap to produce. They can be fairly effective. Wow, eight, eight more ships. You guys head on down here. You guys train. Oh, did we have... No, we don't have anything there. Okay. And that looks great. Just throw them over here, then. Oh, wow, they're really trying to attack us, huh? Let's see... Oh, they're they, one, two, three, four different tiles are attacking, with half of them being over a river, which is not bad for us. Yeah, we're actually developing a pretty good navy here. With subs, you got three carriers, six dreadnoughts, ten light cruisers, and thirty-nine destroyers. Love it. So then we'll probably get sixteen, fifteen. Yeah, that'll be done before clan capitalism. I'm just talking about Clash of Clans, the mobile game. This entire episode, right? Totally referencing that one, not anything else. You're out of your mind if you think I'm talking about anything else. I'm just playing my mobile game here. Hearts of Iron 4, Home of the Brave, Kaiser Redux. Wholesome paths. Very, very wholesome paths. So you, got, you guys are doing that. Do we need to put down resistance anywhere? Wait, do we still have resistance here? Hold on, what's going on over here? Yeah, we still have... What the heck? How do we have resistance? I thought we cored everything. Alright, well, that's very weird. I really thought we cored everything, but whatever. Next up, I always do streamline line, and since we went down a different path for our land doctrine, I'm going to go flexible line this time. Just to make it slightly, ever so slightly different. So after clan capitalism, we're going to go not riders in the black belt. The Afro-Americans are a useful supply of labor, but we must not forget that they possess or pose a constant threat to the Caucasian race. So by God, we must remind them of the place when it's necessary to ensure they will never overthrow the new order. New order. TNO. Oh my goodness. Every Man, I, I've got a problem. Daily command power gain. Actually, that's really nice. Well, not nice for the African Americans, but daily command power gain. Awesome. We actually lose some more stability, get some more political power, gain some more war support, of course, get more army XP, and there's just a smidgen of manpower that no one's going to really miss. That German Socialist Republic. Man, if if Germany was that big today, I'd be so happy. But you know, we can all dream again, I guess. Good. And actually, these are going to look so much better. Just so much better. So carriers, we're gonna replace two. Probably only do two, just because we will be making or researching better ones anyway. So after these subs, we'll get probably get some better carriers and such. Now there's a potential we do get cut off, which is not good. Well, technically the capital's down here, so my sort, which is uh, oh they actually pushed through here. That's not good. Defend, boys, defend. He's still not a trickster. How are you not a trickster yet? Ninety-seven percent of the way there. We got a lot of popularity, though. It's nice being popular, isn't it? And you're about to get your butt whooped. Oh, yeah. What is a stockpile for these guys? They gotta be out of stuff. They're doing air production stuff. Two million manpower. We can't really tell. These guys have the same amount of divisions. No manpower as well. We can't even tell what stockpile they have, either. Just don't get encircled. That's my biggest gripe. Just don't get encircled, please. 98% there towards Trickster. Mosley, Van Horn Mosley is learning quite a bit, hopefully. And nuclear reactors? Oh, yeah, we're going to build a lot of nuclear reactors. Love them, nuke boys. Now let's keep building this stuff up since we're going to take out those darn Canucks up there. And we have mold then enough. Oh, chromium? Huh. Thank you, Cuba. I'd like some of my factories back. Japan, thank you as well. Nuclear reactors, very nice. Got some better radar. That'd even be nicer. Just don't get encircled, guys. Please. Trinidad and Tobago. Very nice. Four days left for this, three days. Just don't get... Oh, you lost it. Well, that ain't bueno. Let's grab some... Actually, there's some tractors. It gives our motorized a little hard, more, more hardness, which I which I kind of like, so... And we do get maybe some APCs, which I actually might use instead of motorized. So that'd be kind of nice. Seven days left for that, not bad. Oh god, don't not get encircled. There you go. Defend across the river, yeah. Yeah, oh god. Ooh, guys, actually, might get encircled. That's not good. Well, for those two divisions, it's all about the general learning how to do stuff, you know. Let's 
Floating airfield. Nice. Let's go and grab some mass strikes. Our carrier's gonna be really, really good. Oh, wow. We got 10 ships. Hold oh, they're all subs almost. Not bad. Very nice. You foe. Go right there. Why not? And let's go ahead and do... Ooh, the Ch Legion Chiefs. The time of governors and citizens has passed with them bringing relegated to the administrative duties. The lesser chiefs officially members of the newly formed White Legion commanders shall handle military strategic zones and handle differences and borders amongst each other when the chief doesn't settle for them. Our country will continue to do well fr from the political aftermath of the Civil War and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, here we are. So, a little bit ahead of time, just so we can speed up the last focus, we just did the Legion Charter, and let's go ahead and stop out Rome. The Roman Catholics believe we will simply allow them to use their nation like a harlot, but it's not so. Their priests will be given a choice between conversion to the new cause, cutting off all contact from the papacy, and making the appropriate tribute or face the full force of the new order. Uh, I did actually tab over, or tab over, go back to my comment section of the last video and ask me, and someone asked me, what's the next Home of the Brave uh, campaign for us? Well, I'm not really sure yet. I did see someone on my Discord server say that we should try New England Lovecraft. So, we'll see. I, I haven't made a decision yet. And, uh, well, trying to make campaigns takes quite a while, so we'll see what happens. And obviously, the Barazia Communist winning gets a Prince of Federation. We're doing our best to hold out, but I did make sure that our soldiers got down here in a safe, organized manner. So, that'll be nice. We're still under him. We're making a big old navy, because that's how we're going to kill most of the enemy's, uh, you know, army off by defeating them in the ocean, so. At least that's the plan. Wow, our guy's not doing so well, and he's 99% of the way becoming a trickster. 99% of the way. Uh, just become a trickster, please. Or even a scout staff or an urban assault specialist. You know, the good stuff. Are you actually trying to help attack? Oh, I guess you are. Just don't die too much, guys. Manpower is precious. Alright, let's grab some floating fortresses. More battleship organization. Not battle cruiser, that's important to note. Not battle cruiser, but battleship organization. Cool, and also, um, I'm producing a lot of things here that would make John Glenn extremely proud. A, a nuclear reactor in every single state. So, thumbs up for me, man. Thumbs up from me. Uh, you guys, you guys just try to attack. You probably do well. You guys trying to attack? Well, one v one. I guess it's not one v one. It's technically one v two. So, you guys keep on doing a good job. You keep holding out. Try not to die too much. You know, they're normal stuff. If these guys capitulate, so be it. But this is an extremely red world, which is another mod I still need to apply sometime. Good. Good. Um, as much as I want to defend there, uh, I'd say I retreat for now. Don't, please don't die there. Go ahead and retreat. I'm not too concerned as long as you make it back. That's all I really care about right now. Van Mosley, anything there? No? Alright, well, alright, whatever. How's the Japanese war against... Oh! Oh, okay, they, the Australasians have got invaded down here, which is unusual. I thought they were going to get invaded up near Darwin, but... Alright. Whatever. Yunnan Cleek. Oh, yeah, there's two Yunnan Cleeks. That's weird. Alright, whatever. Whatever, yeah. We'll deal with it whatever way. Alright, so this is getting me a little worried. We're going to have to just defend Mysore from here on out, pretty much, so... If we can, go and retreat if you can. That'd be nice. Stomp out Rome. Riches of Africa would be actually really good, but do common law. The goal of the law is not what liberals and republicans make it out to be, to ensure the quality for all. Instead, it must be the best defense whites have. For a specific case of how to deal with transgressions, each legion governor shall decide in their own territory, which shall become the norm to the lower ranks, judicially and otherwise, so long as the chief approves all, of course. Common law, more to daily political power gain, recruitable population factor, reconstruction speed, and command power increase level? Nice. I, I, we already have... That's a lot. But the more would be better. Mole would be better. They're desperately trying to use whatever they have to defend against these guys. I'm trying to make sure that us and the American Empire are in the best possible situ- Oh, crap, crap, that sucks. Best possible situation before we go to war with the Reds, because I'm really hoping they go to war. I will force a war between these two if I have to. Just because I want to see the giant fighting that just go goes on between them. At first I thought that was France. Yeah, no, it's not. They're still fighting the German Empire. Um, oh, let's see, on time, technically, okay. That makes sense. Alright, so who can I help out next? 
Wait, offer from the Pope. We've been contacted from Rome through Archbishop of Boston, William Henry O'Connell, begging us to enter the tax on the faithful after our latest bout of anti-clerical and anti-Catholic raids. In return, they offer greater payouts from the churches and the papacy itself while telling their flock to not resist any order. Perhaps filling our coffers with Catholic gold would be more practical than continuing blind assaults very well. That's not very cash money of us. Uh, well, actually it might be, but eh. The Pope doesn't really matter too much, so... And I'm trying to maximize national populism here just because we can. Recruit in North America. Modern carrier holes. Don't sign us up, man. Sign us up. Uh, torpedo reveal chance would be really great. Those torpedoes are okay. Not really necessary, though. Heavy holes I would like. Let's get some better light cruiser stuff because so, we have the goods for them. Let's upgrade you. Even more armor. Or not armor, but hangar space would be good. Level 4 stuff, good, good. Level 3 radar, level 3 anti air, this is superior. Thank you. 1, 2. Well, while they might not have won, they did a great job. They should be rewarded for their efforts. And did, he finally became a trickster. My goodness, it took him long enough. Flexible line is good. Let's go ahead. I don't even care about tech too much anymore. Let's go and grab some nuclear bombs. We might as well. This will be done soon. No, it won't. Recruiting North America, huh? Oh, there we go. Canadian spy, why not? Uh, Mexican spy? Oh, we gotta wait for the other one to be done first. That's fine. Oh, there we go. Might as well grab the next carrier. Or car. Carrier car. Sure, why not? Improve radar? Well, you might as well get, grab the best radar, right? We might as well. I don't even care if these don't have the best radar, it doesn't matter to me too much. Mechanized? Well, maybe it better make some mechanized too. NATO bomber's not looking bad, tanks looking pretty good. We're doing looking pretty darn well on a lot of things here. Even light tanks. I did say I want to take out the Canadians though. Might as well, alright. Who's in the Entente? How's the war going between these guys? So, Canada. If we take out Canada, that's it for them. So, I guess. After this focus, I think it's time. Back on the world stage, now our position as a world power has been restored to us. It's time to figure out where we fit into the scheme of things. I'd love to look at the Reich's Adler, but I'm not joining the Entente. Yeah, that would be kind of a waste for us. Maybe someday, but today's definitely not that day. Press for Greenland, I'd love to do that, but can't really do this. Fortress of America sounds amazing. Isolationist America, man the walls. American protectionism is not bad. American stuff. Stuff. Nation secured. Not bad. Grab some better armor. Common law. Back on the world stage, my friends. Back on the world stage. All right, no more ships, huh? Alright, that's fine. Actually, can I send you guys some dudes? Or do I want to help the Japanese out? We want to help the Japanese out. We can send three divisions this time. Nice. What if I sent you... We could send some of those guys. Well, we'll try. Why not? Here, Japan, would you like some armor and some men? They would. Sorry, Anton, nothing personal. You're just in a way of domination, that's all. Even though you're probably more white than the Japanese, but they're probably considered honorary... whites? Hmm. Oh, wait, what are you... What am I doing? Throw you guys right there. We don't need anything but subs in this one. Cool. Loads of naval bombers, please. Train them as well. Might as well. Right? Right. Good, good, good. Standing by. Oh, they, oh, they actually literally arrived in Queensland. Nice. Very good. How many planes can we send them? Well, it's not us. We can't send many, really. It's fine. Whatever. It's very weird episodes where I end up like going to different places in the world. And we're helping take out other supposedly allied nations. And again, they didn't really help us out much. Probably, yeah. What do you expect? And the Japanese are attacking. Oh my goodness, we came here and we don't have good supply. Oh, that's not good. I don't want to delete these divisions, but you guys get it over here. Actually, do our tanks have logistics? They, they definitely need logistics. Yeah, they definitely need this. 
Nice cavalry divisions, looking beautiful. Don't let them take that. No, 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 no. There they go. That's much better. Much better. Double back around. I'm glad we sent tanks in. Actually, send you guys this way. Cut them off. Oh, yep. Encirclements will happen. Go, tanks, go. 7.2 kilometers per hour. Not bad. All or nothing armor cruiser scheme. Get some armor cruisers next. Thank you. And they have been encircled. Oh, I'm so sorry, Australasia. I'm so sorry. After this, ambitions of the state. America was not meant to stand on the sidelines as the old European nations and rising Asian countries around the world. Our own empire will put the Romans to shame and we will begin to prepare for foreign conquests for the good of our people. We lose some political power. World attention goes up. And we get a few more men. Not that much more, but hey, we get a few more. And uh, carrier battle groups. Yes, please. At this point, I'm not really too concerned since there's nobody really here, so... My apologies to the nation. Like I said, it's nothing personal. How much political power do we get? Over two a day. Holy cow, that's a lot. Yeah, that's nice. Holy cow, we're going quickly. Japanese doing a great job. Nothing personal. Brought to you, has done a great job. National pacification, pacification army, huh? Please, guys, please kill each other off. No. Hmm. Air production, huh? <coughs> oh, I love nukes. Oh yeah, we, we I mean, we will, we, we will go to the war of the third international just because. Well, we want Mexico. We love Mexico. We love them so much that we want them under us. How are we doing down here? Okay, we went literally straight south. Okay. Uh, I, I'd rec I might recommend Melbourne. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Maybe? I don't know. Newcastle? Sydney? Yes, please. Brisbane? Brisbane? Oh, what the heck? I guess head up this way. Do they have a port up here? They might. Follow Sydney? The Australasian situation is dire. Oh, we've been cut off. That's fine. Canberra? We'll be okay. Even better radar? Get some experimental rockets. That'd be nice. Oh, get, get some better planes, too. Don't want to forget that. Come on, guys. Help us out. We're doing all that we can for you, but if you're not going to be moving that much... Why should we help you out? This is just a giant mess. Oof. Now we're going to cut them off, maybe. Ambitions of the state. Pacific Pact. Why not? We gain nothing from going to the east and start fights so when we need to consolidate the west. Especially when Japan reigns a solid ally who would like us simply attempting to end syndicalism and protect his people. Despite not all of us being comfortable with their race and culture and agreement of sorts would serve both sides as well. Nice, we beat him up. Beat him up some more. As you can. Good, they're kind of going to be encircled. Very, very nice. Specific pact. Manifest destiny. Don't mind if we do. Our place in the world is not with the old world. America was meant to rule North America, and so it shall. Let us hit the treacherous Canadians and the cynicalist influenced Mexican states at once and use its resources for our own people. Very good. A little bit of warfare in my life goes a long way, but it's never satiated. Oh, that's, that's very quick. Lead the Boers. The Boers are one of the few people brave enough to stand openly for the same values as us, but sadly they are under attack in their own nation despite all they've done. From abroad by leftist fanatics who insist on a myth mythical race equality. We will invite them into a new alliance that will be mutually beneficial. Um, that actually might not be very good for us, so we're going to wait to do that one. Quebec issue? Well, we'll go to war with Canada very soon. Uh, screech screeching eagles, expand the Marine Corps, submarine development. Actually, I already should not have done that yet. Uh, actually, this is helps. This is very helpful, actually. Very, very helpful. But I want to keep going down this path first. Expand labor camps. The number of race traders, adversarial, colored, and anti Christians piles up and it's a shame to put their potential labor to waste as we have been. We must build upon the existing labor camps so they may finally contribute everything to the greatest cause on earth. The question of clucks the nation and have the fire of cross burn on every road. Wow, that's a lot of roads. That's a lot of crosses got to burn. Why do you even burn, why do you even burn the cross? Is that symbolizing your love for Jesus? 
Then why are you using the cross? I don't understand, man. Sometimes, sometimes it's better to not ask questions. Can they pierce us? Well, no. And that's a good thing. Alright, Panama's gone. Adelaide is, well, gonna fall. Never been there, never been to Austri Australia. Oh, no, they're gone. Good job, guys. Take a, take a nap. <laughs> um, I guess it's our turn now. So this was part of like a Sarawak, huh? Sarawak. Well, let's get to some of this done, and then... Uh, oh, wait, are we... Oh, we're technically not at war... Oh, hello, 25 division. That's a bit too many, huh? Oh, uh, technically, no, it's not. Another general? Jeb! Jeb! Welcome back. Don't fail us. There you go. And what do we have here? Tactical bombers, fighters. Good. Grab another bunch. Throw them right there for Jeb. Duplicate it again. Deploying. Deploying. Armor personnel. Let's grab some more land out attack. Make some more mechanized. Oh, we need even more rubber now, huh? More rubber. Actually, I do want to finish some of this, some of this off, too. Alright, uh, oh, actually, oh! Look at this. Submarinos, don't mind if we do. Uh, and actually, we're going to do that, but really, you guys are all going to do this. Let these guys go ahead and repair first, because I kind of want to have a little naval action with them, too, so. How are you guys looking? Uh, yeah, you all go here, then. Give a little bit more time. And then we'll go to war. I want to make sure everyone's nice and filled up. Dreadnought. Only one. Two Dreadnoughts. A Dreadnought and a Carrier. Two Carriers and a Dreadnought. A Carrier and a Dreadnought. Screen, screen wise, it's looking pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. No, no, no. You go home. Repair. Because you guys are going to be doing this. Convoy rating. You're going to come all over here, actually. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Another Dreadnought. Don't mind if we do. There you go. Oh, you already have three. Now you have three Dreadnoughts. Oh, that's probably a bit too much. All right. One, two. Good enough for me. Hopefully good enough for you. And another ship, too. Uh, there you go. Advanced cruiser hull. Well, that's alright. We're not even going to make that, then. Goodbye. Well, looks like we got the radar done. You guys are ready to go? I'm sorry on top, but it's got to be done. All right, so now we're at war with them. They've, they've taken a lot of losses. I'm glad we're actually in the war, though. Finally. In another war. Wow. People want a lot of non-aggression packs, huh? Well, we've lost... Actually, how much has these guys lost? Two million versus... Eh, that's not bad. Core Prosperity Sphere's lost a few guys. We've lost 300. Um, you killed everyone in there. Yeah, go in and keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, they got some... Some dudes, huh? Convoys have been sunk. Arenos. Thank you. I'll oh, find whatever you guys can. I love it. Expand your operations all the way out there, too, if you need to. Halifax will be ours soon. Oh, Canada. Should have, shouldn't have taken New England. The absolute worst move they could have done. Because now they're going to be part of our labor camps. Next up, Terror in the Night. We have made as many enemies as we have progressed for the new order. However, it'll be, it is time to put an end to the growing resistance from liberals, would-be reformers, activists, and groups that will always pose a threat to both American Way and the Chief. Let us order the Legion of the Knights to end this trouble once and for all. Wow. That's a lot of red. But it's a lot of necessary red. You guys, I'm actually going to keep you guys separate for now. Actually, I'll put you guys back over here, though. That's fine. Looking pretty good. Ah. That's the case. I'm going to have you guys come over here, then. Oh, we, we actually beat them. What the heck? I thought we lost. Negotiate with the Entente. Start negotiating with it for peace. But stubborn Imperials won't give up easily. Take initiative in the battlefield. The enemy's weaknesses in their homeland or a number of cities we control in Canada could help us... Could help our cause. Sea War negotiates peace talks? No. Carry battle groups? Really good carriers. Even better subs now. Alright, Halifax is falling. That should be enough. Oh, we took out those two. Nice. Very nice. Um... Oh, it's right here. Oh, never mind. Okay, they, they lost that. 
No, they, no, they still have them all set. Regina? Saskatchewan? Or Sas Saskatoon? Well, y'all take out these guys out whenever you can. Y'all bless your hearts and do a good job. We got a few of our guys bought. Oh, he's level 7 attack. Jesus Christ, that's really good. Uh, more stability, why not? We're going to be a very stable nation. Where is the capital now? Oh, is it down here? Yeah, I thought it was down here. Victoria. For some reason when I said Victoria, I was instantly thinking of Victoria's Secrets. But purge the elders of Zion. The elders of Zion made up of followers from the late Herber, Herbert W. Armstrong has been accused of following a heretical form of Christianity that promotes Jewishness and Jewish influence. And conspiring with him. Conspiring with him. As such, the leadership in underdoing or undergoing a purge that's ending the deaths of Armstrong's closest followers, the illegalization of the church. And the stolen of the small militia headquarters, it was needed. Oh well, they're gone. That's all I gotta say is, oh well. Mexico's gonna be a little bit more of a problem because they got mountains and ja jails, no. Mountains, hills, and um, other not fun stuff to fight through. Canada should fall relatively soon, especially once we take. Oh, we already took it. Oh, well then. Prince George? Or, yep, they're marching in. Good. I like rockets. Get some rocket engines now. Chicago Terror. The Great Terror is seen uh, captive, operative captured by seeing violent purges across the nation, but in Chicago in particular, stands out as the Black Legion takes revenge on what they view as a former bastion of cynicalism. Chicago. The Black Legion's mass executions outside of the city drawn the ire of some who believe we should have reined them in in a bit, although the Legion themselves is there to keep up the pressure. Have them turn it down? No, no, no. It's, it's fine as is. What they do when is the Lord's work. Seriously. Oh, don't make me... I don't want to invade there. I don't want to invade. I really don't want to have to invade all the way over there. I mean, we can. I mean, we'll do We'll do fine at it. Don't get me wrong. We'll probably do more than okay. But still, I don't, I don't want to. Catholic Church is attacked, huh? They've been th throughout the nation, uh, but particularly in the Steel Belt and East Coast, have come under increasingly extreme attacks during the purge, culminating in the burning down of the Immaculate Heart of Mary Church and an attack on Polish Catholics. The Indiana clan from which Stevenson draws his power believes that we should not uh, burn the churches in order to make payouts simpler, but as usual, the Legion would like to keep up the attacks, promising they will pay us back in tribute anyways. No, this is fine. Rain in a... No, this is fine. Everything's on fire, but that's, it's okay. <laughs> come on, Syndicalists. You're so close to glory. So close. Finish the job. Seriously, like, we're almost done with the job here. Let's keep going, guys. They're so close. Like, 96% of the way done. Awesome. They have a few divisions left. Come on. Oh, the Union of Brands doing a good job so far. Still need about another week to do that. It's not bad. Not bad. We can do more warp, warp up again. We need more stability, though. I didn't realize it's a 70-day focus. It's a long focus. Long arenas. Alright, come on guys, what's going on? Are you guys still moving in? Yes, you, they are. They are doing a great job. Now the infantry division, don't mind if we do. Jeb needs some followers. And by followers, I mean some soldiers. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, they lost that. That sucks. Oh, hold on. They're going. They might be able to attack and do well in St. John's. Maybe, maybe not. Come on, win. Win. Do it for Jesus. Oh, they might actually win. Leba Shaba Anuara. Hello, Shaba. Shaba, you don't have to go bye bye, though. A new nation, a victory over the enemies of the old clan, has formalized our victory, prompting D.C. Stevenson to give a speech on this great victory. Although, there is consideration for us to make the speech even more radical, with the Black Legion and the White Leagues desiring a new name and flag, as well as signal our loyalty to the uh, certain race. While old Democrat politicians prefer to keep our identity as is. New order? Oh, when you say new order, I gotta go with that. The new order. Terror in the night. Cuban goods. Aztec gold. Well, I want Cuban goods. Cuba's been a long goal of our race, which I'll talk about in just a little bit, but I'm going to do this peace deal off screen. Well, would you look at that? The American Empire's looking 
pretty nice. But let's go and do that focus out we were talking about. And I, what was it? What was it? Ah, we'll do Riches of Africa because we can. Our order is expanding, but we must rake in more resources. We can do more than just that while establishing a global dominance by rescinding the American mistake of not grabbing the chunks of Africa that has enriched so much of Europe. We should set our sets on Liberia as it has been our colony long ago. Now, we'll have some intermittent lag as you can see right here as well. But I just pretty much grabbed everything that was in the Americas. Guiana, I don't remember. Maybe I should have taken those guys, but oh well, whatever. It's a little too late now. I guess they're a puppet of the Socialist Republic of Venezuela? Alright, whatever. I don't really care. We'll take them out eventually anyways. we got the modern cruiser holes. Let's grab some improved light guns. That'd be pretty nice. Look at all that lag. Love the lag, right? Because, well, they're probably liberating a lot of people down here in Africa still. But whatever. Also, we can do some things here. Fate of the West Indies. We'll see what happens. After a long campaign, a good portion of the Caribbean region is now under our control. We must decide what to do with as many scattered islands. Now we'll do stuff individually. Fate of Liberia. State of Liberia, founded by an American company under the wish of bringing American blacks back to Africa, has always been a particular state. Under the loose control of Americans for years, the country has now fallen to our, before our mind. But the Liberian identity is strong and trying to annex them directly might prove itself insufficient. Officials in our country are calling for the establishment of a loyal Liberian state instead, but what should we do? Military. I kind of want to do a military occupation, but. You know what? Having them there might not be bad. I gave all of Africa to France, so I don't want to deal with it, so. I don't mind maybe having Liberia under us, just because that's where we can <clears throat> settle some people, if you catch my drift. Liberty without democracy? Oh, that's interesting. The Liberian Task Force, trade connections, cool. And of course, we got some more things to deal with here. God, I wish France was not liberating everyone in, in Africa. Oh, and they do. Oh! Empire of Japan declared one of the Union of Burma. Now, that is interesting because that's Eastern Syndicalist Union versus the Go Prosperity Sphere. Sign, no, don't sign me up, but the fate of Trinidad. Uh, the brief campaign port of Spain is under our control. Military occupation is the only way we're going to go with that one. Fate of Jamaica. Clint Kingston's under us. Military occupation is the fate we got to go. I really wish you guys. This is kind of like Victoria Choose, where you can see populations and, like, growth of cultures and such and such and such and such and see where you can migrate other people to other places but that's all right not looking too bad but it's pretty much all red africa i would say probably let's see yep very very red down here sudan tripletania but hey russia's not doing too bad oh you know what next episode well i'll, I'll make these guys kill each other off i don't want to wait too long with this I'd, I'd rather just see them kill each other off and have a good time, so. Okay, then. I was not expecting that. That is something I was really not expecting. But okay, then. Which actually is not bad. If they go to war with the Japanese, and then they also go to war with the Reds, then I go to war with the Reds as well. That kind of makes it a little bit more balanced, even though we're not fighting the Japanese. We actually have an official back with Canada. Finally, the corrupt Dominion of Canada, home of the British Isles, has capitulated toward glorious armies. Reports say the king and his close circle fled the country, but this doesn't matter. We now have control over these large portions of land, which we do them. Liberate our loyal Canada. Liberate Quebec in Canada. This is the American way. They should have been the 13th the 14th colony. The 14th one. Yep, there we go. Riches of Africa. Very nice. And what do we have? First nation. Actually, can we do stuff on the right side here? Yes. The Quebec issue. The Catholics of Quebec are taking serious issue with the Catholic relating stances and are weeding out a potential syndicalist amongst those who are sympathized with the commune. Let many of them join their beloved commune via controlled deportation campaign. And so they have the holdings. Oh, oh, we can go to war with Mexico. That's true. Yay! I will go to. We will go to war with Mexico and to all of Central America once Russia goes to war with them, which maybe I shouldn't do. But at the same time, it would be a lot of fun. Russia's been building up quite a bit. So I'm not too worried about it. Requires one of the following, the Quebec issue, which, which only takes a week. And to get a lot of puppet war goals against a lot of people, I don't want to puppet them. They're going to just straight up annex them. Straight up annexation. And maybe even against the Union of Britain, too. Uh, yeah, technically, we, we don't even need to do that destiny of the Anglo world. So, press for Greenland. Do we, do we get that one? There we go. Technically, we already got Greenland, so. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Grab some radar down there, grab some more airports and such. We're going to need that where we're going. Great. Even more of this stuff. Wow, we need some more naval actually, don't we? Uh, instead of you guys doing that, go ahead. Train, train, train your butts off. A lot more subs. There you go. 
Oman is the, oh, Oman gave to the Japanese, I think, if I remember correctly. So you guys do that. Good. Train. Quebec issue. Great. And this. Eagle spreads its wings, we might as well. With the major goals fulfilled, let's secure the final resources we need in South America for a powerful America that will never be free from one. And then we might as well read the next one, too, because it's so quick. Destiny of the Anglo world. Great Britain and France had the potential to be great nations, but sadly bought into Marxism and said it now threatens to destroy us all. American leadership in the Anglo and French world is what's needed here. And you get slightly more stability. We're not looking too bad. And 100% party popularity, which gives you plus one daily political power. That's very strong. Who knew that having a stable government, a stable party, or government led by a very stable party would produce good political power results? Who knew? So you guys looking two carriers? I love it. But you guys gotta go over here first. Go ahead and train as well. Oh, look at that. Nice. Another dockyard, huh? Modern cruiser hull. Well, we might not have the best guns yet, but that's alright. Well, level 1, empty air. Well, go with that. We can replace it with this one. That's fine. I don't care. Secondary batteries are fine. That's fine as is. We don't have anything else for rapid fire guns, right? No, we don't, which is fine. Whatever. Better anti air, which is much more important. Let's go with some fire control systems. Sonar is okay. Up for radar, honestly. Level 4 cruiser engines. Not bad. Level 4 armor. Beautiful. No! No, 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 no. God dang it. We can't get the next one yet. More submarinos, very good. Oh, not you. There you go. Much better. After that one, I don't care about the, the whole thing up there. I don't really care. So we can produce things even faster. Submarine development. Oh, why not? Subs allow us to wreak havoc on enemy shipping and heavy ships. We should ensure that our designs stay up to date against enemy destroyers and anti-submarine tactics. Might as well, right? Did we actually get it on there? Yeah, we did. Oh, let's do this to make it easier on ourselves. Modern cruiser hold. Oh, actually. Well. One. I know we're going to need at least two. Well, we got three, so. Let's see. One, one, two. Oh, is that it? Oh, cool. Whatever. Just in case, we're going to put like 20 on here. Because I can imagine our ships are going to get blown the heck up, so. Nice. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Improved naval guns. Good. We'll just go straight for the next ones. Good, good, good. And then infrared scopes. We'll probably go with M1944 Sieg weapons. More soft attack. It's looking pretty good, especially for motorized. And only 5% more for leg infantry, which is okay. Could be better, but whatever. Now, you guys aren't at war with the French yet. Are you guys... I don't want to get involved there, just because as much as I'd love to... Supply is probably a god-awful situation, so... Oh, I'm actually fighting down here, too. I kind of don't mind helping out the Japanese, but then again, the supply is probably just so bad. How strong is Russia before we even, you know, finish this episode? Again, about 390 divisions. These guys have quite a bit less. They only have a thousand manpower. Oh, my... Oh, they're not scraping the barrel. Hmm. Are you guys fighting anybody besides... Well, the Entente's dead. No, you're not. Well, then. We would need a massive navy to contest them. Actually, I'm going to send you guys back here. Stop training. Come down to South Carolina. And actually, I'm going to build up some more naval ports because some of these naval bases are really, really tiny. And these guys are pretty small, pretty big already, but we can improve upon this. There you go. That's a little better. Not bad. Actually, how much mechanized do we have right now? 700. That's not a lot. Actually, that's really not a lot. I'm going to replace one of you with this. Uh, we actually don't need that one. I want... There you go, not bad. We might get some mechanized, too. That would be good. And you guys got a sub Reno. Not bad, not bad. We will need to raise the conscription level up, but that's fine with me. Oh, my goodness. Recruit? Recruit where? Switzerland, yes. Definitely got to recruit in Switzerland, right? Absolutely have to. Actually, I haven't done anything here yet. Actually, no, we've done all of it already. My bad. I thought we didn't do anything there. It's all right. Sub development. And I'll do maybe one more focus on call an episode. Now the Russians and the commies kill each other. Or the syndicalists, I should really say. 
Better some of this. Not bad, not bad. Some nuclear bombs would be nice. Especially since all hell is breaking loose between all of these people. Empire of Japan. Hope they're, I hope they're doing a good job. I do want to see Japan very successful, but I don't want to see them have too much success against the Russians. Because, well, the Russians don't have a lot. They have no manpower. Actually, do they not have cores on some of this region? They should have cores on everything. I don't know why they don't have any manpower. They should have core on this, at least, right? That doesn't make any sense why they don't have that as a core. They should have everything as a core, right? Hmm. Very strange. Very, very strange. Maybe they lent out manpower to somebody, maybe. Political actions. Let I control. No, we good. Uh, nuclear bombs. Don't mind if we do. A little... It's going to heat up the world a little bit, but that's alright. Oh, planes. Can't forget planes. Mustangs. Wow, we're so far behind. How many nuclear reactors do we have? We only have 42. That's not enough. <laughs> Never enough. Rocket interceptors, goodbye. Boom, 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 boom. We don't need these. Uh, we don't need this either. Uh, flying fortresses. Actually, you know what? We make a few flying fortresses. That'd be pretty good. Do kind of go... Sort of want to go to war with these guys. Hmm. Get some planning for these guys first, though. Uh, supply. Well, it's maxed out. Texas, you need a little bit more of that, I'd say. Some more of this. We're good to war with the Third International. Let's make sure we got enough radar. That'd be nice. Submarine development's good, good, good. And let's end this episode with what? A nation first military? Military first nation. A golden circle, huh? Protected Zion. We still have stuff up here to do, too. American Emperor would be kind of nice. Convict leasing. Oh, more resistance growth. That's not good. Uh, that's kind of wow. You can do more max factories, even less recruitable population factor. Oh, well, we can wait, wait on that one. I kind of want to do maritime industry. Our maritime tradition remains strong. We can leverage the commercial shipping industry to help our struggling democracy survive. And I do want to go to war immediately. Let's give it a few more days. You know what? One more focus. One more focus. I lie. One more focus, and then we'll go to go to war with these folks. We'll end going to war. Which sometimes isn't the best idea, but whatever. And actually, I want to build up more air bases too, because we're going to need them. Right, so, you guys, not looking too bad. Duplicate you again. Uh, one, two. Because we're going to need a beefy amount of planes for what we're about to do. Good. One, two. Uh, actually, take that out. There you go. I know we have more divisions I could deploy them, but hold on. Oh, the phone. Oh, look at that. Even more guys want to join us, huh? Nice. We're going to keep... we got to lower manpower. Or manpower usage, but that's alright. All right, so even more planes, maybe some places somewhere. Fighters, tactical bombers, yes please. Thank you, too. Even more planes, thank you. Fighters, tactical bombers, yes. Oh, actually, you know, we gotta wait for someone else. How about you guys? There we go. One, two, three, four. Duplicate you again, and duplicate you again. Um, I don't really care where we put them. They can all be under one army for all I care. Order restored in Liberia. Huh. Not throw them over there, that's nice. So, while Liberia still labors under American control, the Liberian military has asserted enough control over its own borders that a semblance of autonomy is now possible. This is not independence, far from it, but it does mean they no longer have to rely on American troops to secure the borders and are thus not so tightly under our control. So be it. I don't really care. I'll be honest, I don't really care about Liberia too much. It is what it is. Advanced light guns, finally. Some better radar? Yeah, might as well. One, two. Should be it. One, two, but then we. Oh man, everything needs oh, so much chromium. Holy cow. And we can make another. Actually, we have not made another dreadnought hole in a while, so. It's not going to be great, but it'll be definitely updated compared to its you know, counterparts. Uh, armor four. Uh, yeah, well, I, don't know, I don't know why we're not using that one. There you go. We've got more than enough naval XP. Oh, we got to fix our ships too. Even just really pretty good anti air. Not the best, but pretty good. Good not. There you go. One, two. Go three. There you go. Boom. 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 You don't want to go to war while our ships are still training. That's a really bad idea. You guys, go over there. You guys, go ahead and do this. Do it. Sargosa Sea. Do Mid Atlantic. 
in Demara Plains. You all, who doesn't have what? Go and stop trading as well. Go and repair. Let's see, who doesn't have a carrier yet? One, two, three, one, two, three. Eh. Doesn't really matter to me. I don't really care. There you go. In the Gulf. Three regions, not bad, not bad. Oh, we got more research to do, huh? A little bit of lag, whatever. Could have put the capital gunnery out. Let's go and grab some of this too. We need some bracket shooting for that. Subs are outdated. Well, they're almost done anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Anything here? I don't know why it keeps coming back to that one, whatever. And after maritime industry, we got one more. Cool. Let's just read the next one after that one. America rules the waves would be nice. Expand the Marine Corps would be actually very good as well. But let's finish off with something more storage driven. Aztec gold. I could use more stability, honestly. Cuban goods. I mean, you. Hmm. I like Golden Circle. Let's do Cuban goods. Cuba has lo long been a goal of our race since the days of the Confederacy, with its population's labor having the potential to mine the island dry. Its riches shall be ours, as will their people. Very nice. I'm not sure why I deployed you guys all the way up there. We, we probably should stop making so many divisions. AR 40 convoys, so they're pretty thick already. And you know what? We've got two of you guys here. We can always call on Mr. Buckner eventually if we need to, so. Mexico is probably not too weak, but then again, they are bolstered with a lot of extra soldiers. Oh, never mind, they have no manpower, huh? They don't have that many divisions. They do have a lot of soldiers from the Union of Britain, but still. All right, not looking too bad. One, two. Here we go. Oh, do we not have no more? Pl oh, that wasn't good. Well, that's okay. So I'll just throw you guys over here then. There you go. Good luck. No, we got plenty of fighters. Oh, no. Maybe some garbage planes. Trash planes, huh? Tactical bombers. Well, that's very strange. Uh, oh, a lot of carrier fighters. Yeah, we got... We still have some carrier fighter ones. Huh. Very weird. And what am I waiting for again? Focus? Yeah, 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 let's do Cuban goods. And come on, the game lags pretty hard in 1946. We already have seven nukes. Not bad. And boom goes his name up. Alright, let's go to war. Have a good time. Can we win? Overall, it looks like so far, yes. Nowhere yet. Just wanted to see if we can win. They've called in those guys, so be it. They called in their allies. And now it's going to be even harder to win now. We killed all 34,000 of them already. Holy crap. We've lost 3,000, but we got to raise our conscription level immediately. Go to war economy. Service by requirement is all right by me at this point. So now we can't win nearly as well. But we do have, hopefully, doing a lot of air damage. Okay, never mind. We're not doing a lot. The more damage you do, the better we do, right? And it looks like we're getting invaded in the Norwegian Sea. Oh man, naval battle's going to be quite crazy. Kind of nuts. But, even though we're not doing so well down here. Wow, 50, oh, I guess 40,000 for us. Um, coming to France. Yeah, this is not going super great for us then. Kind of disappointing, I'll be honest. That's right though. Actually, it says you guys can do pretty darn well though. Oh, actually, we have this too, don't we? Even more breakthroughs. So the less losses when we attack. It's a very good thing. Uh, let's, let's read some of these naval battles, and we lost, actually we lost a sub, that's not good. Um, hey, we sent a convoy, that's good. But regardless, we'll end the episode there. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we take out Mexico, and a few other places. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.